Hey, hey, thanks for watching. I'm here with an unboxing. I got a uh, armor. I got another one in the DJ Khaled. I got another one. <laughs> All right, if you watched my channel before, you know I got armor. Granted, I absolutely love that thing. But guess what? Got a got ten folk. I got ten folk today. This is the Typhoon Three X that I'm unboxing, and it is the red one because that's the Three S. Typhon. This is one eighth buggy. Oh man, I know you've seen them all over the internet, but we got one more. It's another one. Boom! So, I am so excited about this car. I'm excited because I've been watching non-stop Typhon video. Oh, I'm gonna have to change my lighting. Boom! Yeah. So, all the technical stuff, uh, I'm not really going to get into that, I'm so excited, but I will give you a picture so you can just freeze frame with the electronics. I'm not going to pretend like I care about any of that, I'm ready to open this thing up, look at it, so let's cut the seat, but right now, let's get it out the box. reaction just look at that car man just looking at it I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it that way put the camera over it just can't even see the whole car it's so big it's, it's gonna be ridiculous okay so I got my granite of course I'm gonna pull that out for size comparison Look at that. I love to see the drop. <coughs> drop that mother. Boom. Look at this car. This car is beautiful. Look at that suspension. And just look at it. Just look at it. Of course, we're going to do an upgrade to that bumper. A lot of people have that racing bumper T bone. Uh, I'm probably going to do that. Haven't been able to find one just yet. Uh, that's in stock. Look at that. Definitely going to add a wheelie bar. Because uh, I plan on increasing the punch on this thing. So when you increase the punch, that takes it up. And it actually does wheelie. So you're going to see a lot of run video of this thing. Man, we'll get that car. That's a beautiful car. And of course, in the bag, you got your, your tool bag and your, your manual. Okay, that's good. Right. And then, of course, we got the, the control, which is the SLT. Spectrum SLT. And the same remote that comes with the granite. So. I'm very familiar with this remote, very comfortable with it, uh, but like I said in one of my other videos with the, the granite, I think it's a little bit of delay in that response time, so a lot of people change their radios, I may indeed change this radio uh, very soon, you know, just to get more response out of the vehicle, look at that vehicle, man, that's just... Let's do it a side by side comparison. So I'm put that right there. Then let's put that grain right there. Let's see. Boom. There you go. Yeah, my, my granny needs some new tires. 
Give me some new shoes. We don't get that thing here. I don't want to go back. <laughs> Make sure I show that video too when I do it. But look at that. Just to get a comparison. Wow. This vehicle is nice. Man. I mean, it has a, a pretty good amount of ground clearance underneath it. I thought it was going to be low. And uh, this is the same chassis. It's the elongated chassis. Same chassis as the, the big rock. Look at that. So you can see the distance, the difference there. In the, the length. Let's do a, on top. Let's put the granite on top of it. Uh, they have about the same width in terms of the wheel base. I think the the granite just looks wider because of the, the tires. Oh, it's falling off because the body not on. Yeah. I'm going to do a video about this granite. It got to replace that uh, spur gear in there. Because I've been grinding. I've been pushing it. Got a lot of video that I'm going to post. That thing doing somersaults in the air off a lawn tramp. But it's another time. I just wanted to show that comparison. So let's get back to this type of thing. Man, look at that. That car just looks like it's ready to ride. It looks like it's ready to to go fast. <laughs> it looks like you're ready to do something. You know. Uh, uh, that's so satisfying right there. Alright, I'm gonna just leave that on so I just want to get the clips out. I'm gonna take the shell off. Put the decal. It has stickers all on the body. It looks really good. It's a nice color. Almost like a graphite. You know, looking at it on the internet, you don't know that that's even colorful. A lot of people don't show you that detail right there. So I thought that was not even body cover right there. And then they have these uh, little add-ons you can put to cover this. I may consider that closing that in. But let's get that off. Boom. Look at that. This is the last time it's going to be this clean, I promise you. But, <laughs> look at that. And that's lovely. That, that center brace, that bearing right there in the middle, you can see that difference with the elongated chassis. Put this bit, grind it up here, it looks rough. <laughs> but boom. See that difference in chassis length, just side by side. So you got a little more area here for the battery tray, and the electronics. You can, if you want to, you can upgrade and put a bigger motor in there, and change our DSC and all of that. But of course, all that's optional. Man, that thing just looks good. It looks like it's ready to ride. It has a nice low profile. I love that wing on the back. And it has the slits through it for aerodynamics to force to keep the car down. And as you may have seen on a lot of video, this vehicle rides and the wheels stay planted. But look at those big wheels. They feel really good. They have a lot of grip. I'm excited about taking it apart just to look at it. But I'm going to put it back. I'm going to keep everything stocked. And, uh... I have a 3S pack. I'm not going to run this thing until tomorrow though. But uh, man, look at it. I'm ready to go take it out for a ride. It just looks aggressive, but it also looks fast. <laughs> it looks like it's going to get somewhere quick. But anyway, that's just my first impressions looking at it I'm so stoked about it it feels really good in the hand and surprisingly it's lighter than I was expecting it to be I don't know for some reason I thought it was going to be heavy but in comparison it feels like the granite is a little bit heavier uh, 
even though it has a shorter wheelbase, it feels heavier. Maybe it's the tires that's adding that extra weight. I don't know. But this thing looks like it's going to get somewhere. So I'm excited to put it on this first run and be sure, be sure, be sure to come back because I'm definitely going to put some run video. And then it won't be long. You're going to see this thing flipping through the air. Uh, look at those tires. Oh, man. Look at that rim with the armor insignia on there. That thing is fantastic. Let me get this focus. See the armor on there. I love that. Just that little attention to detail. These are fantastic rims on this car. It just, the vehicle is like, I'm absolutely ready to put it out in the grass and let it run. And, uh, man, I'm so excited. It has the same electronics as the Granite. Exact same motor, exact same ESC. Exact same radio as we saw a moment ago. Uh, so, has the EC5 connector, right? Oh, I'm sorry, this is IC5 connector. And uh, I have the, the battery with the EC5 tab, so no problem. Uh, battery tray looks like it can accommodate any size battery you want to put in there. And, uh, man, this thing looks great. I am very excited. Oh, something I did notice on the videos, a lot of people were making mention about the placement of this capacity uh, on this battery. So you want to keep that out the way when you're running it. Uh, I'll figure out what's the best solution once I uh, actually get the battery in here and get it ready to run. I'll figure out what the best solution is. But, man, look at that. The body goes on there. Looking so lovely, looking so spectacular. Let's go back right there. All right, let's peel that out. Oh, man, look at those graphics. That car just looks mean. Coming at you. Stickers are well placed. And uh, I've seen people they talk about, you know, making little slits in there with your little uh, Dremel tool or what have you for more aerodynamics and maybe some little slits on the side to let the air pass through. Uh, I may consider that. I'm not really looking to, you know, like amp this thing up much. I may put a, a different size pin in there. It comes stock 15 tooth pin, so I may put like an 18 tooth or 20 tooth in there just to try it out, but I'm not really interested in souping it up i just want to have fun with it and and uh really get to the system so this is my second um very glad i got this one because i think the dynamic duo is a great starter combination i'm new to the hobby but i'm loving it so i invite you if you're on the brink on the edge don't know what you're gonna get without me even having driven this yet get it <laughs> thing looks great it looks fantastic. Feels good. It looks like it's ready to take on everything I have to throw at it. So I'm excited. Till next time.